Hey skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2023 ski test. Uh, we got a Solomon QST blank for you today. Uh, this ski returns unchanged from when we saw it last year, uh, which is great news for those of you that really love this 112 millimeter underfoot uh, powder and free ride ski. Uh, and we really had a blast on it as well. Got on it a couple days, uh, you know, two years ago when it first came out now. Uh, and really got some nice powdery days on them. It's always good to be able to test these things in the conditions that they're meant for. Uh, and we certainly got uh, a nice stretch of testing conditions for this. And to say that it lived up to our expectations would be an understatement. Uh, it's a fantastic floater, super fun and fresh and soft snow. I think the thing that really caught us by surprise was how well it handled uh, you know, non-fresh snow. So, you know, even if you're just using this in a resort application, most of the time you're taking the groomer back to the chairlift or just, you know, taking it easy on, uh, you know, a front side run. That's where we really felt this thing kind of surpassed our expectations of what a 112 underfoot ski should be, but definitely has that powder and free ride mentality. Uh, it does have a poplar wood core, uh, as well as carbon and flax fibers in the forebody and through the tail. Uh, we also see cork amplifier in the tips and tails, and that keeps the ski uh, nice and quiet and stable. We do feel that carbon and flax material really kind of uh, light up when you load it up. If you push the front of the ski into the snow, uh, you definitely feel the stiffness of that carbon uh, pull you in and then rebound you at the end through the tail. So really good way of building that ski. Uh, and then we also get double sidewalls underfoot. So having this blue area, not sure if this can show up on the camera from there, but between my fingers is just this raised extra portion of thicker sidewall material. Uh, really they've just put ABS in there and that makes this thing hold pretty well underfoot. Lots of good torsional stiffness as a result and really good grip. Uh, on firmer snow. You know, no one's going to mistake this for a front side ski, uh, but having that torsional stiffness there combined with the shorter turn radius definitely makes a lot of sense uh, in that front side application. Uh, we do see that shorter radius here, so what they've done with this is they've really brought the taper in uh, and made this ski pretty turny. This is the 172, uh, sorry, 176 sorry, 178, <laughs> and we see a 15 meter turn radius. So pretty short for a wide ski, uh, you know, we're kind of into that DPS uh, RP shaping type of mentality here. When we move up to the 186 and 194, we go to 17 and then 18 meters in the turn radius. So even in that longest turn, uh, longest length ski, we still see a, a sub 20 meter turn radius, uh, which is pretty unique for a ski of this width. Uh, and then in that, um, in that rocker and taper range, we're definitely seeing quite a bit. A very long tail rocker combined with tip rocker, almost kind of symmetrical in length uh, while still keeping some camber underfoot to help with that edge grip. Uh, but we really, really like the taper shape of this ski, really bringing that widest part all the way down to here, uh, making that effective edge pretty short. Um, having this thing get pretty bouncy in, this, in the uh, soft snow, which is just a whole lot of fun. Similar in the tail, where we're seeing that widest part way down here, uh, so that increased taper really makes for a smooth performing ski uh, in that fresh and soft snow. And then just a closer look at that tail rocker from my angle here, uh, you know, starts right here, so super long in the tail. Uh, and then same thing in the tip. So just really loves to stay on top of the fresh snow. Uh, you know, great floater. Even though it's the widest ski in Solomon's line, um, you know, it definitely floats like a much wider ski. It does come with some weight to it as well. You know, the, uh, just the sheer volume and mass make it heavy, but also that poplar uh, is all there. And for, you know, that, that real, real deal ski, uh, 2,110 grams here in this length, uh, and again, that bumps up as you get into the longer length. So, you know, be prepared for a heavier weight on the feet, but certainly doesn't feel that way uh, with that uh, rocker and taper shape, especially in the soft snow. Uh, but we're stoked to see this blank back again for another year. Uh, check this thing out at SkiEssentials.com, and we'll see you out there on the hill.